Now our first speaker I'd like to introduce is Lisa Deaton. Lisa is very active locally with We the People. She and her husband Jim were instrumental in getting the ball rolling and motivating people like you and me to get out and get involved. Lisa has a passion to educate and to help those around her to understand their role and how they can improve and be part of shaping our country. Lisa isn't shy about sharing her views with those in city hall or county government or even the mayor's office. Lisa is a regular attendee of many meetings across the city and she is very local and very supportive of We the People. Lisa. I need a stool, sorry. I am here in this place next to this monument that represents those who fought before us. I am here to call you to the cause of freedom. Freedom! The freedom William Wallace fought for in Braveheart. The final words that came from a fighter for a cause greater than himself. Freedom! The action that led Benjamin Martin and the Patriot to carry a battered flag past his fellow retreating troops, yelling, hold the line, stay the course. Freedom, the kind that led 400 plus men to give up their lives in the Spanish mission. They could have lived, they could have fled, but the cause was worthy, the cause was right. Remember the Alamo, freedom. The very fabric of our founders was the dream of freedom. Our lives, our fortune, our sacred honor was their creed. To know the truth, but to do nothing is to give our liberty away without a fight. The framers of our great nation was given a gift by the Creator. The Constitution that would protect our liberty and was to serve as our internal foundation. My Lord gave me my freedoms, and no government shall take them away. Freedom allows me to open the business that I choose, to hire who I choose, to spend my money as I choose, to give to whom I choose, to save what I earn and pass it on to my children. That which I have, is for me and my family. Freedom allows me to succeed or to fail and to pick myself up. It also requires me to be charitable and kind to those around me. I do not need any government telling me how to be free. It is part of our creation. It is who we are. The government cannot give us what they do not own. They are only to protect those freedoms as directed by the establishment of this nation and its sacred documents. The Constitution and the Bible are sacred to me. You cannot pick and choose bits and pieces in which to believe. You must hold firm to all of it or to none of it. The line has been drawn in the sand. The sleep has been wiped away from our eyes. This nation can no longer turn back now that they know the truth. What is that truth? Our very freedom is at stake, and if you do not stand up to protect this land for your children, who will? The day may come when we will again be free to live as our Creator intended, but that is not this day. The day may come when we will no longer need to be diligent in the care of our nation and the governing of it. But that day is not this day. This is the day that you reaffirm your commitment to this nation.